Okay, I'm still working with this uh, pyrolytic graphite levitation. And uh, yesterday I showed it with the pencil lead, and I had seen videos where people were doing that. That's a, a Pintel um, mechanical pencil lead I got at the dollar store. You can get it anywhere for two bucks or less. And it worked uh, on this. I don't even know if it's pyrolytic graphite, it just worked. I'm not sure. It's diamagnetic, I believe they say, where it's repelled by a north or south of a magnet. And if you put an array of magnets, it'll levitate. Uh, um, I went ahead and ordered some of the wafer real stuff. It's kind of pricey, but I wanted some, so I'm going to have to wait for that. In the meantime, I got to playing around with this stuff to see if I could make a motor uh, of some kind uh, using the repelling force with electromagnetic, electromagnetic kind of pushing on it with zero success. Had no luck with that at all, but I did have luck with this, and this is an electrostatic set up with the magnets here and they're north south north south north south uh pushing against that uh graphite uh pencil lead and then i've got this uh, capacitor charged up with a couple thousand volts using one of these uh, um, negative ion generators it's a 12 volt um, negative ion generator that i'm i'm uh, just using a three or four volt battery so I don't overcharge this capacitor, but I've got it charged up here. Uh, if you do this, be really careful because you can get a really bad shock from uh, these things, but let me show you how it works. I've got a radio here so you can hear it. And what's happening is uh, the charge is charging up that little graphite stick and it's pushing it away and then it's uh, making a contact on the other side and it's an electrostatic uh, motor, basically. I, I put some... Uh, tape on aluminum tape on the bottom for the negative uh, part of it but uh, this is one of these uh, little uh, looks like it's self-running devices that warrants the walk around so let's do the walk around every time I make something that looks like it's self-running I get a kick out of doing this because you know, people that know me know the story behind it but um, What's interesting about this is this runs a long, long time on that capacitor, longer than it really should. And I don't know if the interaction with the magnets is why it's doing that or not. But um, it's just a needle with the um, graphite stick stuck on the needle with the double-sided tape. And like I say, I charged up the capacitor with that... Uh, um, negative ion generator uh, to get the charge on it and uh, it's just high voltage it's an electrostatic device where it charges up one side goes across discharges on the other side pushes it back charges it up again I might be able to make a motor a rotating motor with the graphite sticks um, I have done graphite before but not using these pencil leads but uh, I just thought this warranted the walk around because uh, this looks like it's self-running, but it's not. It eventually winds down, but uh, I just wanted to share that with people that uh, you can make one of these uh, electrostatic devices using um, the pencil lead. Now I can stop it here just by pulling the capacitor away. You see it stop. And it self starts. Anyway, that's my little experiment for the day. Uh, working with this uh, graphite uh, stuff that Laser Saber um, showed. Thanks for watching.